good evening to all the panel members my topic for today is the transplantation of human organ sect amendments i am a resident at pjms Brooklyn. the a little brief history about the acts that were prevalent before it in delhi there were two laws the i authority for use of therapeutic purposes act 1982 and the ear drums and ear bones authority for use for therapeutic purposes act of 1982 which were regulated which regulated the removal and transplantation of cornea, eardrums, and ear bones. In Maharashtra, there was the Bombay Cornea Grafting Act of 1957 and the Maharashtra Kidney Transplantation Act of 1982 for regulation of cornea and kidneys, respectively. Now, the introduction, the following Act of Parliament received the assent of the President on the 8th July 1994, the Transplantation of Human Organ Act 1994, number 42 of 1994, which repealed the above mentioned two acts. In an act, it was an act to provide for the regulation of removal, storage, and transplantation of human organs and tissues for therapeutic purposes, and for the prevention of commercial dealings in human organs and tissues, and for matters connected therewith or incidental therewith. Now, the original Act of 1994 contained seven chapters, which were Chapter 1 to 7. Chapter 1 deals with the preliminary. Chapter 2, authority for the removal of human organs or tissues at both. Chapter 3, regulation of hospitals. Chapter 4, appropriate authority. Chapter 5, Registration of Hospitals. Chapter 6, Offenses and Penalties in the Act. Chapter 7, Deal with the Miscellaneous Subject. Now, the amendments that were brought to the original Act of 1994 were brought on 2011. But what changed? The amendments were tissue have been included along with the organs. Near relative definition has been expanded to include grandchildren and grandparents. The provision for retrieval centers and their registration for retrieval of organs from diseased donors was allowed. Tissue banks were supposed to be registered, shall also be registered. Provision of swab donation included. There is provision of mandatory inquiry from the attendants or potential donors admitted in IC and informing them about the option to donate. If they consent to donate, inform retrieval center. The provision of mandatory transplant coordinator in all hospitals registered under the Act. To protect vulnerable and poor, there is provision of higher penalties, which has been made for trading in organs. Now, the Constitution of Brain Death Certificate Board has been simplified. Wherever neurophysician or neurosurgeon is not available, then an anesthetist or intensivist can be a member of the board in his place, subject to the condition that he is not a member of the transplant team. National Human Organs and Tissue Removal and Storage Network and National Registry for Transplant are to be established. There is provision of advisory committee to aid and advise appropriate authority. Enucleation of corneas has been permitted by a trained technician. Act has made provision of greater caution in case of minors and foreign nationals and prohibition of organ donation from mentally challenged persons. The procedure for donation of organ or tissues in medical legal cases. The composition of state, district, and hospital-based authorization committees. Procedure in case of transplant other than near relatives and for the foreigners. Precautions must be taken in case of women donors. Now, the source for organs for transplant. The source may be living or deceased donors. The living donor transplant can be from near relative donors like mother, father, son, daughter, brother, sister, or spouse. Other than the near relative donor, such a donor can donate only for the reasons of affection and attachment or for any other special reasons, and that too with the approval of the authorization committee. By swapping of near relative donors between pairs of unmatched donor and recipient. Now, disease donor transplant, donor after brainstem death, Organ donation is practically possible in the situation of brainstem death, example, a victim of a road traffic accident, etc., where the brainstem is dead and the person cannot breathe on his own, but can be maintained through ventilator, oxygen, fluids, etc., to keep the heart and other organs working and functioning. Donor after cardiac death. Practically in Indian scenario, only tissues are donated after cardiac death, but few centers like PGI Chandigarh has started DCD, that is, donor after cardiac death. Issues and challenges. There is a high burden of organ failure cases. There is poor availability of donors, which is demand versus supply gap. Lack of awareness of concept of brainstem death. Poor brainstem death certification by hospitals. Availability of infrastructure, especially in government sector. 
awareness and attitude towards organ donation, reluctance of many states to adopt THOA Amendment Act 200, 2011, transportation of donated organs, especially interstate, allocation of diseased donor organs, especially heart to foreigners, gaps in data reporting, especially online entry by hospitals, states in national registry, organ trading, functional organized networking system, high cost, especially for uninsured and poor maintenance of standard in transplantation. A national organ transplant program, what are the initiative taken for it? The national organ transplant program has been launched. The government of India is implementing the national organ transplant program for carrying out the activities as per amendment act, training of manpower and promotion of organ donation from diseased persons. Honorable prime minister has directed the importance of organ donation in the Mantubad program broadcast in October and November 2015. This has given impetus to the organ donation in the country. National Organ Transplant Program aims to improve access to the life transforming transplantation for needy citizens of our country by promoting diseased organ donation. The objective of National Organ Transplant Program to bridge the gap between demand and supply of organs and or tissues for transplantation, to improve access to the transplantation for needy citizens by promoting diseased organ tissue donation, to organize an efficient mechanism for organ and tissue procurement retrieval from diseased donors and its distribution for transplantation, to establish new organ and tissue retrieval and transplant facilities and strengthen existing facilities, to train required manpower, to monitor organ and tissue transplant services and bring out policy and program correction, changes wherever needed. Now the solution provided through the National Organ Transplantation Program is, there are dedicated institutional mechanisms that have been established like NOTO, National Organ and Tissue Transplant Organization at APICS level, which is established at Sabdajan Hospital, Delhi. Now there are various regional organ and transplant, tissue transplant organization that have been identified and established like one at Chennai, Mumbai, Kolkata, Chandigarh and Guwahati, which cater to state organ and tissue transplant organization in an institutional mechanism to support states. And under states, there come transplant centers, retrieval centers and biomaterial centers. Thank you.